With the ever-increasing cost of brand new cars and trucks and SUVs these days, it's hard to wonder if you can ever get a break. A lot of people don't have that $80,000 for that new pickup truck, nor do they have sixty dollars for that new subcompact SUV. But in fact, you can still find a few deals around there. And if you look around enough, believe it or not, you can find some decent vehicles that are reliable, fun to drive, and easy on your pocketbook. So I'm going to share a list of 10 of some simple vehicles that are under $10,000 that you can walk on down to your local car lot, snoop around, take it for a test drive, and you'll be glad to put your money down. Let's get into it now. The first one on the list under $10,000 that I'd suggest you definitely take a good look is a 2015 Ford Fusion. Now, yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm not usually the one to give up the Ford products found on Road Dead and all these other sort of acronyms obviously means that it comes from somewhere. And there aren't a lot of ultra reliable Fords, but the Ford Fusion with certain drivetrains can be a very, very good buy under $10,000. You've just got to skip on the 1.5 liter turbo four and you've got to skip on the 1.6 liter go either right to the two and a half liter naturally aspirated base four cylinder engine it's a workhorse it's not overly powerful or potent but it works and it's reliable you can also step up to the potent and blisteringly quick 230 horsepower turbocharged two liter engine straps together with a six speed automatic transmission great looking car great performance and very affordable the ford fusion with the right engine can be a great choice for under 10 grand. Another great vehicle that isn't a total beater, you can look at it, is a 2015 Subaru Impreza. Now, obviously I've talked a lot about them in a lot of previous videos, and there's certain engines like the two and a half liter flat four and certain drivetrains, and particularly in the WRX or the STI, if you start boosting them and modifying them, you're going to have some problems. Broken ring lands, PCV, oil consumption, issues like that. But at the end of the day, if you stick with the base two liter flat four cylinder engine, you can mate that up to a manual transmission or this slightly sloppy and buzzy CVT transmission is both reliable and very easy on the pocketbook. You can have fun with it, they take some modifications, and they're ultra reliable in the typical Japanese car fashion. You also get the infamous all-wheel drive system that Subaru throws down, and you can be proud to own a car that looks modern, fun, fuel efficient, and great on the pocketbook. The Subaru Impreza 2014 to 2016. And another great buy that you always trusted is the Toyota Camry, 2011 model year specifically. A couple years later and they struggled with a little bit of oil consumption issues and there were some other problems and it conversely had some of the most unreliable, unrecognizable and certainly unrecommended Toyota Camrys in history. But the 2011 is one of those that definitely meets the mark. Two and a half liter, four cylinder engine, front wheel drive, six speed overdrive, of course seating for five people, ultra reliable, great on fuel, 169 horse, means it's giddy up and go. It's a lot of fun, affordable. It's not uncommon to find a modern day Toyota Camry such as this to be able to run three or 400,000 miles. A trusted brand for a reason, Toyota Camry. Now another amazing car you'll find under $10,000 that won't break the bank, clearly because it's cheap to buy and it'll definitely be cheap to own and operate. Gets great fuel mileage anywhere from about 24 miles a gallon in the city up to about 34 miles a gallon on the highway. You can get with a tried and true Honda ultra reliable 2.4 liter four cylinder engine way before they start dabbling with turbocharged engines. And then you could also upgrade and get a three and a half liter V6, one of their staples and workhorse engines as well. You can get an automatic transmission with overdrive or that was a generation when you could get a manual gearbox teed up with it. It also has front wheel drive as standard and clearly it was at a time when Honda knew how to build reliable vehicles. Now, since they've switched over to the 1.5 liter turbo four, they see oil fuel dilution issues. Their CVT transmissions aren't quite as reliable and all and all, it's not quite the durable workhorse that clearly it was back in 2012 when the Honda Accord came out because that is clearly one of the sweet spots with the best drivetrains, gearboxes, and one of the most reliable Hondas you could ever buy, and you can find them for under 10 grand. Another amazing car that you can find under $10,000 that's definitely going to be ultra reliable and carry you through hundreds of thousands of miles reliably is the Mazda 6. And from 2014 specifically, you can get a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that puts out about 186 horsepower, strap that down to front wheel drive, and of course a manual gearbox. Six speeds, oops, yeah, it is an ultra reliable workhorse, easy to own easy to operate and precursor to what we know today, how Mazda's come up the ranks and is now one of the most reliable car brands on the planet. 
And the next one in line is another 2013 Subaru, this time Legacy. Comes with the infamous two and a half liter flat four cylinder. Yes, you can get, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six manual gears. And yes, it uh, comes with the infamous all wheel drive system. Subaru is known for relative reliability, other than the fact that once you start modifying some of your turbocharged engines, that's where you start getting into trouble. Keep it simple, keep it short. And these vehicles were known for ultra reliability. You can get hundreds of thousands of miles of them. When something breaks, it's not so pricey and of course just easy to own and cheap on your pocketbook the 2013 Subaru Legacy and another amazing ultra reliable vehicle under 10 grand that you can pick up today is a 2014 Toyota Prius C of course, C like this or like this, whichever way you prefer. But that is a compact version of the original Toyota Prius. It comes with a whopping 1.5 liter of displacement. Of course, coupled up, it is a hybrid vehicle. You can get a blistering 50 miles per gallon and it's got barely over 90 horsepower. So it can barely get out of its own way and it's certainly not considered one of the most exciting vehicles on the road. But if you want low cost, ultra reliable, get hands off, no must, no fuss, durability, that's going to be your bet. Yeah, you can get one of these vehicles for well under 10 grand these days. It does in fact come front wheel drive and is stapled together with the CVT transmission and overdrive, of course. It is one of the best that Toyota makes and of course it's infamously known for its famous reliability. And another one you can't forget about when we're talking about ultra reliability, we know Toyota brings it to the table and we're talking about the 2013 Toyota Corolla. Yes, in fact, it comes with a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine, of course, coupled to a five speed manual gearbox, front wheel drive, 132 horsepower, zero to 60 in eight and a half seconds, means it's sprightly, it's fun, it's economical with an average fuel economy consumption of around 30 to 34 miles per gallon. It's going to be ultra reliable. And did you know the Toyota Corolla of all generations are typically accepted as one of the most reliable vehicles on the planet? Yes, you can't go wrong by getting your hands on one of these older Toyota Corollas. It's gonna carry you three or 400,000 miles. And another car that you need to throw in the hoop for one of the best vehicles under $10,000 in the used car market is a 2010 Toyota Prius, the full-size Prius. Yeah, it comes with very similar mechanical specifications as the C version, but of course it's the full size. It has a little more headroom, a little more foot space, and it just feels a little bit more substantial. Front wheel drive, CVT transmission, and that small diminutive four-cylinder engine, but it means you can get 50 to 55 miles per gallon on a good day with the back wind behind you, and it's going to last you three or 400,000 miles all day long. The Toyota Prius 2010 is definitely one you have to look at under $10,000. And here next in line is one of my personal favorites. You know, it's one of those vehicles that we personally own. It's easy to drive, very affordable. If you want to do your own maintenance, you can because every component is accessible. It's simple. It's low cost. You can get jobber components. It's amazing on fuel, 30 to 35, 36 miles per gallon combined. You can get them in coupe. You can get them in sedan, trunk space. They look sporty. And even they have that digital dash, which makes them feel fresh and somewhat modern. You can get a manual gearbox or automatic, depending on suits your needs. You can get sunroof, alloy wheels, and it comes in any shape and format. Now, it doesn't have blistering performance, but they are known to handle well, and they're a lot of fun to rip around in. What we're talking about is a 2013 Honda Civic, which we personally own. It's one of the last and the best before they went with turbocharging in the 1.5. This comes with a naturally aspirated two liter engine, and it also comes with a beautiful five speed automatic. That's right. No CVT, no continuously variable transmission here. We're talking about torque converter automatic transmission, naturally aspirated four cylinder, front wheel drive, no rear differential, as simple as a car you can possibly ask for, amazing fuel economy, cheap parts, amazing, simple, affordable, and you can still find one with decent miles, it's definitely worth buying. We actually had to pay a premium dollar because our first one got wrecked and we decided to buy the exact same car to replace it once we got insurance money because the car impressed us so much. First car was a coupe, the second one was a sedan, and it's definitely one of those cars under 10 grand. You have to give it a look and don't walk on past. The 2013 Honda Civic. And with all of that said, be sure to check out that video. I check out the reliability of 30 vehicles I find sitting in the car lot. It's my car lot blitz. Hope to see each and every one in the next one. We'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.